e-invoice in busy in this presentation we'll discuss how we can generate electronic invoices e-invoices or electronic invoices basically is a system in which all the invoices like b2b debit credit note scz export except the b2c invoices are electronically uploaded and authenticated by the designated portal once the authentication is successfully done then a unique invoice reference number that is irn is generated for each invoice by invoice registration portal all invoice information is transferred from this portal to both the gst portal and eway portal in real time therefore it eliminates the need for manual data entry while filing gstr1 return or generation of part a of the eway bill as the information is passed directly by the irp that is invoice registration portal to gst portal now we will discuss how you can generate e invoices in busy for this first of all you must check that the company address is entered for this you can go to company edit company option and check the address if the address is not mentioned then e invoice will not be generated Next, we will go to Administration, Configuration, Features Options, GST VAT tab. Here, first of all, you need to make sure that Transport Details in Local Sale Purchase option is enabled as only then the Transport Details window will appear in the Local Sale Purchase transaction. Then you can see eWable Required option is already enabled. Now you have to enable the e-invoice required option as we will be generating e-invoices. Click Configuration button and specify the from place and pin code this is basically the place from where the goods will be dispatched that is the address you have mentioned at the time of company creation next is e invoice gsp user id and password you need to create the e invoice gsp user id and password however if you have eway bill generation you gsp user id and password then you can use the same for generating gsp user id and password we'll go to the portal you can see the portal address at the top then we'll click the API registration option, user credential option, and then we'll click the create API user option. Now the user ID and password we are specifying will be for the GSP user ID and password. We have logged into this portal using the user ID and password we have created for login to the portal. Next, you'll specify the OTP that you have received or near number. Then click the verify OTP option. And now it's asking you wish to register for GSTI for API interface. You need to select the through GSP option here. Then select the GSP as Webtel Electrosoft and then specify the username and password and click submit button. Now the user ID and password that is the GSP user ID and password you have created. You will specify it in the busy as already mentioned. If you have eway build GSP user ID and password, then you can specify that same also in the busy and it is also recommended that you specify eway build GSP user ID and password instead of creating another GSP user ID and password for e invoice. Now click OK button and then save button to save this configuration. Next, we'll discuss about various masters. Here, we are assuming that your company is created and you have already created various masters. So, we are not creating master, we are opening basically masters in the modify mode. First of all, here we are opening the material center master in modify mode and we are checking that whether the address is entered correctly. This is required if you have multiple go downs and goods are dispatched from different places like apart from company address as specified at the time of company creation, goods are dispatched from other addresses also from other material centers also. So it is necessary that address should be mentioned with each material center. So this will be the dispatch address in case you dispatch goods from this particular material center. Next is account master. We are opening a party master in modify mode and we are checking that address of the party is entered correctly or not. Please make sure that the address, station, pin code, transport details are entered correctly with each party. Next, we are opening unit master in modify mode to enter the UQC code for e-invoice. That is unit quantity code for e-invoice. Just like we have UQC for e will now we will be specifying UQC for e-invoice. For list of UQC or e invoice, you can refer to GST portal. Click save button to save the unit master. Next is your country master. In the miscellaneous masters option, you can see country master. We are opening a country master in modify mode and checking the country code of the country. It is required if you have some export transactions and make sure that country code is entered correctly. Again, for list of country codes, you can refer to GST portal. 
Next is currency master. If you use foreign currencies, multiple currencies, that is basically if you export goods, then you need to specify the currency code for e-invoice. Here we have opened the USD currency master in modify mode and we are checking that its currency code is entered correctly in the master. Next is Wilson Remaster. If you have created your company before Easy 18 release 6.4, then you need to open the round of bills and in modify mode and specify their nature as round of. Till now the nature is specified at others but now a round of nature is added so you need to specify this round of nature with round of plus and round of minus bills and trees. You have to enter this nature for both round of plus and round of minus bill sundries. If you have created the company if after the release of DZ18 6.4 version, then there is no need to modify the bill sundry round of bill sundry. Uh, its nature will automatically be rounded off. Now we are uh, going to the configuration voucher series configuration. Here we are selecting the sales option and then clicking the voucher configuration button. Here make sure that generate e-invoice after saving option is enabled and you have also enabled the option of input transport details. Basically you have to specify why in the input transport details and generate e-invoice after saving options. Input transport detail option is very important as details related to invoice will be entered in the transport details window that appears in the vouchers. And that window will appear only if you have enabled the input transport details option. Now we'll come to our transactions part. We'll enter a sales transaction. For this, we'll go to transaction sales add option. Specify header related details of the voucher. Select party. On pressing enter key on the party field, a billing shipping details window will appear. This window will appear if you have enabled the billing shipping details feature in the voucher series configuration. Here you can specify the shipping address of the party. That is the address where goods will be delivered. This address will be different from the address as specified in the party master. If the goods are delivered at the same address, then you are required to enter the same shipping address. Next, specify item related details. Apply required bills and risk. Click save button to save the voucher. On clicking the save button, our transport details window will appear. This window has appeared because we have enabled the option of input transport details in voucher series configuration. Specify the transport, GRRR number, date, vehicle number, station that is the place where goods will be delivered, pin code, EVA bill required option is yes, you can specify yes or no as per your requirement, then is e-invoice required, yes. This option will be automatically set to Y if the bill is eligible for e-invoice that is it will be set to Y for B2B transaction, SCZ export transaction and will be set to no in case of B2C transaction. Then specify the distance in kilometer, mode of transport that is goods will be delivered through roadways, airways, waterways or railways. So you can select the mode of transport, then select the subtype and then is the transaction type. First option here is select automatically that is busy will automatically judge whether it's a regular transaction bill to ship to transaction or bill from dispatch from transaction. Similarly, if you want to specify on your own, then now we are discussing these options. First option is regular that is goods are delivered from the company address as specified in, at the time of company creation and are delivered to party's address the address as specified in the party master. Next is bill to ship to that is goods are delivered from the company address and are delivered at the shipping address that is the address specified in the billing shipping details and not the address as specified in the party master. Next bill from dispatch from that is goods are dispatched from the material center address and are billed to the party's address that is the address as mentioned in the party. And last option is combination of two and three which means Goods are dispatched from the material center's address and are delivered at the shipping address that is the address specified in the billing shipping details window. If you select the option of combination of two and three, then all four addresses, billing address, party address, shipping address, dispatch address will be different. That is in the dispatch section, dispatch from section, material center address will be picked and ship to section address will be picked from billing shipping details window. Now you can see EV bill number and e-invoice acknowledgement number are blank. This will be filled once we will generate these numbers. Click OK button. Now this is asking do you want to generate EV bill? We have specified no. Then do you want to generate e-invoice? We have clicked the yes button. 
Now an automatic e-invoice IRN generation window is appearing in which you'll specify the required data. Here an option is pick dispatch detail from material center. Specify yes in this data field if you want to pick the address details from the material center master and not from the company address. That is dispatch address will be the material center address. Next option is club item details on HSN and unit. Specify why in this data field. If you want to do clubbing of items on the basis of HSN unit and tax rate. In this case, description will be picked from update HSN SEC description utility. And this is required when there are multiple items with same HSN unit and tax rate. If you specify no in this data field, then clubbing will be done on the basis of item name. Now click OK button. On clicking the OK button, Busy has shown a message box with two options, check possible errors and view and generate e-invoice. It is always recommended to first check the list of possible errors in the data. So we are clicking the check possible errors button and Busy is showing a blank screen, which means our data is perfect. There is no error in the data. Now we'll click the view and generate invoice button. On clicking this button, Busy is showing an e-invoice details window in which you can check the required details like seller details, buyer details, dispatch details, ship to details. Dispatch details and ship to details would have appeared if you have selected the combination of two and three option. Basically, dispatch details would have shown the material center address and ship to details would have shown the shipping address if they are both specified. Then there is item description at the bottom. Now click the generate e-invoice button and you can see e-invoice acknowledgement number is generated successfully. Now this is asking, do you want to print the e-invoice? We are clicking the yes button and on the screen, you can have a look at the preview of the e-invoice in the PDF format. At the top of the format, you can see the QR code. Then are the e-invoice details like IRN acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date, transaction details, party details that is seller and purchaser details, goods detail and at the bottom you can see that this invoice electronic invoice is digitally signed also. So this is a preview of the e-invoice. Now we'll come back to the busy and here we are opening the same transaction that is our sales transaction that we have just entered in the modify mode. Click the save button and in the transport details window you can see the e-invoice acknowledgement number and e-invoice acknowledgement dates are filled automatically by the busy. This is the same e-invoice acknowledgement number that busy has just shown on the screen. So this is the case when we are generating e-invoice for a single invoice. If you want to generate e-invoices for multiple invoices, that is you want to generate e-invoice in bulk, then you can go to transaction GST miscellaneous utilities option and click the generate print e-invoice option. Specify different filtration criteria like voucher type, starting date, ending date. If you want to filter records on the basis of material center and do you want to exclude vouchers that are already having an e-invoice acknowledgement number? We are enabling this option because for those vouchers, e-invoice has already been generated. Click the load list button and Visa will show you the list of the vouchers. Select the required vouchers and click the generate e-invoice button. Again, automatic e-invoice generation window is appearing. Click OK button. If you want to check errors, then click the check possible error button and then click the view and generate e-invoice button. Here on the screen, you can see that automatic e-invoice configuration window is appearing, which is showing that total three invoices were there. Total three e-invoices are generated and no invoice has been rejected because data was perfect. So this is all we have to discuss in this presentation. That is how you can generate e-invoice for single transaction or you can generate e-invoices for multiple transactions using the utility provided in PCI. Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily generate e-invoices. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.